present this heavyweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Christoph Jocko. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Chris Jocko. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Oh, just misses with the kick. 
The one-two punch is true. Oh! First round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He him. has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems. He's trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Look at the turnover in that kick. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Coming. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Nice body kick. That, oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He got him. Shot go strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Just a slip there. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the tallest fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, though, you see. Oh, nice. Oh, straight right. separate. Big head kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Wow, what a head kick. Well, we told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the oh! fight. Goodness, what a fight. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. I mean, he's cutting them down the side. With the final seconds of round one. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Okay, okay, listen up. You've been here before, all right? That was nothing. 
I'm going to go out there and just stay on the outside and take it. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Second round underway. Unable to find. Oh! Oh! Lee's kick attempt. That one was blocked. Oh! Oh man! jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not Whoa! feel good. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish out now. Big leg kick lands. the shot. Great point. Oh! He's a trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's a trouble. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Get out of well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And they separate. Just missing on the counter there. Does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Jocko. Nice Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Shot goes lower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice counter jab up top by Lee. Can't take many of those. You better check. Pretty good right hand. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh! Back to the feet! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. A strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Close guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, how about the speed on that reverse? Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Gotta be careful, on bar. 
Armour's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Jocko gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Connects with a right. And, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Huge block there. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Duffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got clip with the right hand. Throws the right hand there. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, a single collar tie there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet! Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Lee gets caught with that punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. Oh! oh he got him. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Lee's got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's attacking armbar now. He might get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. There it is, so he taps out. Oh. 
do to the arm bar yeah. tonight. High level grappling. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight.